This Saturday afternoon on its campus between Houston and Austin, the International Festival Institute at Roundtop presents its eighth Roundtop Guitar Festival. At 2 p.m. there's a recital by rising young artist who is making his Texas debut with this performance, Turkish guitarist Jalil Rafik Kaya. Born in Istanbul, Mr. Kaya began playing the guitar as a child under the guidance of his father. He won second prize at the Vienna Guitar Forum International Competition in Austria in 2004 when he was just 13, vying against other guitarists in the 20-year-old category. He has since earned additional high honours in competitions held in Istanbul, Naxos, Greece, Sofia, Bulgaria, and at last year's Joan Falletta International Guitar Concerto Competition in Buffalo, New York. In 2011, Mr. Kaya was awarded his undergraduate degree and ranked number one student by Turkey's Mimar Sinan Fine Arts University State Conservatory. He is currently pursuing graduate studies on a full scholarship at the Manus College New School for Music in New York City. Jalil Rafiq Kaya has joined me here in the Geary Performance Studio and he's going to play for us. Jalil, welcome. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much. Welcome to Texas. Thank you. <laughs> How long have you been here in the U.S.? Um, this is my second year. The second year. Yeah. And had you ever visited the U.S. before you, you came no, to I graduate just, school? I just came for audition um, two years ago. That was all. So you had spent all those years pre prior to, uh, to coming here in Turkey? Mm -hmm. How old were you when you first picked up the guitar? I was six years old and my father used to play classical guitar but now he plays uh, rebab which is a traditional Turkish instrument, bow instrument in the historical Turkish music ensemble. Um, anyway, he used to play guitar so that's how I started <coughs> to play guitar. I was uh, started to imitate his, him uh, and uh, the pieces that he played. Um, now, is he a musician by profession? Yes, yes. He is. Mm -hmm. He's professional, yeah. And when he played the guitar, mm -hmm. what music was he playing? Um, he was playing standard pieces, um, such as Granados, you know, Tarega, and all these classical guitar pieces, some Latin American pieces, Latin American classics. So that's the music that you that you grew up listening to on the guitar? Yeah, I, I grew up the standard with the, Western repertoire for guitar. Yeah, I mean, I grew up with the classical guitar and traditional Turkish music, so. Is there much similarity between the, uh, the Western tradition, if you like, and the Turkish music, that, uh, the indigenous music that, that you heard, that you played? Similarity between Western and Turkish music? I mean, I would say in early Turkish music, 17th century Turkish music, there are some similarities. And actually, we recorded an album last year, which which is named Supuser, my father's CD, and I arranged the pieces. And they are very much like Renaissance music or medieval music. So, and the pieces that I, um, the chords that I put, and then you could maybe recognize uh, them like a Renaissance music. Mm -hmm. um, but after that, music always changed, and Turkish music has a lot of periods, you know. And a like lot of influences from different parts of the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you were studying at the conservatory mm -hmm. as an undergraduate, mm -hmm. was your focus on sort of classical music, or was it on yeah, Turkish it's classic, music? Yeah, classical music conservatory. Mm -hmm. And actually, my undergrad school was very strict about classical music. And really? We really had a strict, strict uh, ear training theory program, and I started when I was eleven um, to conservatory. Um, yeah. So now that you've been in the U.S., mm -hmm. what what differences do you notice between the way that that you were taught in Turkey and the way that you're taught in New York? I mean, of course, now I'm in master's program, so which is which is quite different. Mm -hmm. and, um, now, I don't focus much on theory and other stuff. But when I was undergrad, maybe I would say it was more technical, <coughs> you know, in terms of counterpoint, harmony, and other things. It was more like European school. Mm -hmm. But in the United States, of course, we have many opportunities to learn, especially in Menace, I learned many things like Schenkerian analysis and, you know, 
I played in Baroque Ensemble, I still play. So that variety, we have variety in here in the United States compared to, I would say, my undergrad school. Talk about the, uh, the music that you'll be presenting on your recital on Saturday. Recital? Yeah. Um, I gave the title um, as Anatolia to the New World, mm -hmm. which is the journey of the guitar, which came from East and goes to Spain and then goes to Europe and then America. Latin America, North America. Right. So it's more like historical uh, program, but and which represents uh, the classical uh, pieces, standard pieces in the program, mm -hmm. and one one of them my arrangement. There is some uh, some barrios, some yes. piazzola, some mm -hmm. morel, some uh, abenith. Yeah, I categorized the European classics, Latin American classics, and um, Eastern influences, mm -hmm. which is Spain. Talk about some of the uh, the the non-Western composers that are on here. Non-Western composers. Um, in the program or? Yeah, on your recital program. On my, re on my recital. Um, I have my arrangement. And this piece by oud player and composer Jinni Chan Tanrikorur. He's traditional Turkish music composer, mm -hmm. but uh, it's originally for oud, but I arranged it for the guitar. Describe the oud. Oud. Uh, oud is originally Arabic instrument, but it is common between Middle Eastern countries, and including the Greece. Um, it's a strung instrument like, like the guitar? Yeah, it's very much like the guitar, mm -hmm. and tuning very similar to guitar. Um, but they play with pick, with a special pick. And um, of course, without frets, right? Because playing for playing the quarter tones. But I also play oud. Uh, my grandfather is really famous oud maker and oud player. Oh, really? So yeah, that's why. Yeah. So. Does he ever make guitars? Yeah, he actually uh, he built a um, lute for me. Mm. It's very much like lute guitar. It's half lute, half guitar. Neck is like guitar, mm -hmm. but the body is like lute. It's like the sort of the, the balloon shape yeah uh -huh. and in that way I can get stronger sound than the lute because it's like guitar mm -hmm. and I put guitar strings but it also has the lute sound in it so that was a very special instrument for me and I still play with with it in my concerts and what do you what do you call it um <laughs> there's no name for it <laughs> he just he just built it and it's invention. I don't know I, yeah. We didn't think about that. The first piece that you're going to play for us is by uh, Astor Piazzolla. Yeah, Astor Piazzolla. This is the uh, Primavera Potenia yeah. um, from his Four, four seasons. seasons of, of Buenos mm -hmm. Aires. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think of the music of, of Piazzolla? Um, as you this know, is tango, obviously. Yeah, tango, but which is very different than traditional tango. Mm. As you know, the Piazzolla is the founder of Nuovo Tango which is a new style tango, and right. uh, he breaks the traditional tango uh, structure. And in his music, there are um, a lot of moments that uh, slow movements and fast movements, it always changes. But in traditional tango, we don't, we don't see that. Um, it's almost not like a dance music anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, people play in the concerts, and it became almost like a standard repertoire. So, and whenever you listen to Piazza, you can recognize him. it's Piazza and right. it's, he has a character, a very strong character. So we're going to hear Spring. Mm -hmm, spring, yeah. From the uh, Four and Seasons of Buenos Aires. Yeah, Astor and Piazzolo. the arrangement by Brazilian guitarist Sergio Assad. 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 Sergio Assad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's this is an arrangement for, for guitar. Arrangement for From guitar. the original, Yeah. I think it was a quintet that, yeah. that mm -hmm. Piazza by, wrote yeah, it for. Yeah, for his band. Mm -hmm. But I would consider this arrangement as a best arrangement to me. I mean. Well, here we have Jaleel Rafik Kaya yeah. with Primavera Potenia, Astor okay. Piazzolla, here in the Geary Performance Studio, and you're listening to The Front Row.
Thank you very much. Sergio Assad's arrangement of uh, Astor Piazzolla's Primavera Potenia from the Four Seasons of Buenos Aires. We heard Jale Rafik Kaya performing there here in the Geary Performance Studio. And I should say that we are streaming this performance segment on mm -hmm. the uh, Houston Public Radio YouTube channel. Look for the uh, feed tab and you can see uh, Jalil and his guitar here in the studio. Is there a, a good community of, of classical guitarists in Turkey, in Istanbul? Yes. Is it a popular instrument? Yeah, I would say, um, I mean, guitar is not, classical guitar is not popular as um, piano or violin, I would say. Mm -hmm. But we have, a, of course, community that, a uh, very strong community, especially in Istanbul, in Ankara. Um, we have very good guitar teachers. 
um, guitar studio. So, and we have festivals, some festivals in Bilkent that I will play in this summer. Mm -hmm. Bilkent Guitar Festival. Um, I will play with Bilkent Symphony. Um, what are you going to be playing with the, the symphony? I'm going to play um, Cuban composer Leo Brower's double guitar concerto. Leo Brower. Mm -hmm. With um, Greek guitarist Kostas Kocilis. Ah. Yep. What is the music that you yourself are particularly drawn to? Are there particular composers that that you that you love above the others? Um, actually, I love Barrios, Augustin Barrios. I can never is remember it? if he was Uruguayan or Paraguayan. Paraguayan. Para Paraguayan. He's Paraguayan. Uh -huh. I most mostly I like Latin American composers, Latin American music. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite composers is Jorge Morel. Jorge Morel. Jorge Morel, yeah, who lived in Queens. Um, and he recently um, moved to Florida to his daughters. And I had a chance to meet with him. Where is he from originally? Um, he's from Argentine. Argentina. Yeah. And yeah, my teacher introduced me last year. And I had a chance to play for him. Um, Did he like your playing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He liked and We had a great time, and I, I went often to him to play. Now, you said that on the recital, uh, one of the pieces is your own arrangement mm -hmm. um, of the uh, a, a Turkish piece. Yes. So you do some arranging. Do you do, you do any composing yourself? I do, yeah. I do compose. Um, um, Maybe since my childhood, I'm composing. Um, Specifically for the guitar? Sp it's, it's actually, um, I studied three years composition when I was an undergrad, mm -hmm. as a second major. Um, so in, at that time, I was mostly composing for piano, piano music, because I was thinking it's more orchestral, and I was able to hear orchestra sound. But then... Uh, so you weren't composing for yourself? Yeah. And after I um, came to New York, um, one of our teachers, Frederick Hand, guitar teacher at Manus, uh, he encouraged me to write for, for the guitar. Mm -hmm. And also I didn't have piano at home in New York. <laughs> so that's why I started to compose for the guitar mm -hmm. and I started to arrange for guitar. Um, I wrote some pieces for flute and guitar and some chamber music pieces, two guitar, for two guitar, three guitars. So I'm still composing and arranging. And do you ever perform those works on your recitals? Um, actually, maybe a few times, yeah, I do. You're not too shy. <laughs> Mostly I play standard repertoire, but um, I remember when I was 17, we had a concert in Istanbul, which which is a um, young composer's concert, and I played piano there. I played one of my lead uh, with the singer, soprano. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say I perf perform my pieces. And sometimes I play maybe one piece in my right. program. Mm -hmm. of the next piece that you're going to play for us is not one of your pieces, yeah. but it's by uh, Isaac Albeniz. Isaac Albeniz, yeah. The uh, Spanish, Spanish uh, composer. Yeah. Um, this is a Torre Bermeja. Yeah. It means the Red Tower. The Red Tower. Yeah. Which I believe is a feature in a square in Cadiz, isn't it? Yeah. Why particularly this piece? What is it that you like about this piece? This piece has a lot of textures of Middle Eastern influence, mm -hmm. I would say, in terms of the scales and arpeggios that he used. And, uh, and it's a very dramatic piece and has a lot of contrasts in it. So it's also my, one of my favorite pieces. Well, let's hear it then. Isaac Avenis' Tori Bermeja, Julie Rafik Kaya, here in the Geary Performance Studio and you're listening to the front row. Thank you. 
Very nice, very nice. Thank you very much. It was uh, Julie Rafik Kaya with uh, Isaac Albinis Tori Bermeja, which he presents on his recital Anatolia to the New World, which is divided, as you said, uh, into three sections, the Americas, Eastern Influences, and European Classics. When you finish at the, the Manor School in New York, mm -hmm. uh, Jaleel, what do you intend to do? Um, I will take my DMA. You'll do your doc doctorate? Yeah, doctorate in University of Texas at Austin. Yeah. They have, I just uh, they decided have to... a good guitar faculty there. Yeah, they have a very strong guitar faculty. And then ultimately, do you want to teach or do you want to, do you want to go back to Turkey? What, what do you want to do? Um, I would like to teach, but I don't consider to go back. Um, of course, most guitarists, they teach. They must teach, I would say. Mm -hmm. If they don't give concerts, maybe. Often, all guitarists, they teach. Because we don't have opportunity to play in orchestra like other mm -hmm. instruments. Right. Uh, so, only thing we can do to teach, either teach or perform or both. And do you see yourself continuing to compose? Yeah, mm -hmm. I will. And you're enjoying New York? Yeah. I like New York so much. <laughs> Turkish guitarist Jalil Rafikaya opens the 8th Round Top International Guitar Festival with a performance at 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon in the Festival Concert Hall on the Round Top campus between Houston and Austin. Tickets will be available at the door. They can be purchased in advance by calling 979-249-3129 or you can log on to the Festival Hill website and you'll find the link to that at our website, thefrontrow.org. Jaleel, thank you very much. It's a thank pleasure you. to meet you, and thank yeah. you very much for uh, giving us a taste of, of your recital and, and come back. Yeah, I would love to. Thank you. Enjoy your stay in Texas. Thanks so much. Thank you also to Todd Hauslander, our audio producer. This is The Front Row. <laughs>